Hello there, folks. Today, we'll take a look at the game called Chronicles of Crime. It's published by Lucky Duck Games, and the designer is David Cicero. You are investigators investigating different crime scenes in kind of a nowadays, but there are different scenarios, so it's a story driven scenario game. And you are using an app and QR codes on everything. So let's take a look at how the game works. Chronicles of Crime is a very simple deduction game that uses the app. You will scan QR codes everywhere. If you want to go to that location, you scan this location's QR code. If you want to talk to a person, you will scan the QR code. If you want to find a clue, you will scan a possible clue's QR code, and so on. So this is an driven game, and it also uses VR set as well. You don't have to get it, it's an extra. Uh, I had the VR set, but I'm going to show you the game without the VR set. And there's the tutorials in order not to, not to spoil you anything so let's say it says okay not, not don't resume the last game so it says welcome to the uh, chronicles of crime blah 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 and so on so it says i need to pull out 33 so this this is uh, the chief this is our chief so we can go to him and ask for help as well and there will also be a certain things going on so right now it says i'm in scotland yard so I can go talk to Chief and he has something to tell me. I will scan it and it says, oh, I have a case for you. An old woman has been found dead and I need you to find out if it's a natural death or a homicide. And then it says the number there, so number seven. So we have an old woman, which is, she's dead. She's number seven over here. So based on the scenario, there will be different numbers, different people. So there might be the same numbers, but they might represent totally different people. And eventually I can go interrogate on things and blah, 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 and so on. So it kind of tells me what to do, where to go. And uh, I can scan. I can ask the officer about the dead body, for example, or I can say to him goodbye. I, I can go to any kind of location. Of course, I need to get the information where she was found dead. And then I can scan the QR code in order to go to that location. There I meet some people that I also can scan. And then, I will not show you too much about that, but... Let's just, uh, let's just scan this man over here. Alright, so... Let's scan her in. So I want to ask our chief about her. And it says the G, location G. I'm just going to show you simple things so there's location G let's find out okay so this is the Notting Hill so that means now we have the location and she was found dead in Notting Hill so when I go there now I can say goodbye to him and let's say I'm gonna scan this location and I'm gonna go to Notting Hill and each time I go somewhere I will use time and I need to do this case in a certain time so I'll get some bonus points so it says something about the victim and blah 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 and so on so I can do search for clues over here at this location so this is the the crime scene now I can put in the VR set or do it without and if I do it without as you can see I can look at the scene trying to find the clues I can see a, a dead cat I can see a uh, playing cards then whatever whatever uh, I can see a cake on the on the floor and so on so next let's say at some point it will just run out I will run out of time on this VR so I have found some clues I can write them down and then I will look at these things over here so let's say if I have seen something important about furniture or furniture liquids or tableware decoration items vehicles bottles and so on so as you can see um, I, I found the what, what did I find the the animals and so on office materials bedding clothes animals for example so let's let's say I'm just gonna show you a little bit about the game so you kind of know how it works all right so no other player wants to look at that all right so the thing is now I think that animals might be a good clue in this tutorial okay it says the victims cats are dead and it says I found the clue so now this card is an evidence card kind of so it, it can help me and sometimes when I go to people to ask them about the other people I can ask let's say if there is a certain person 
it's, it's her, I can ask her about a totally other person and she can tell me something. Or I can ask her about this item, dead, dead animals, maybe she knows about dead cats and so on. So it depends on the scenario, I don't want to spoil you anything right now. So as you can see, I can scan our professional um, forensic laboratory, criminology center, intelligence bureau, morgue, for example, if I need to hack something in. So I found computer or, or a phone on a crime scene, we need to hack into it and see the last uh, messages that the dead person was receiving and so on or we need to do the autopsy so and so on so i'm gonna scan them in order to call them and then i can ask them about different evidence and so they can guide me to to the uh, to some new clues or murder eventually and so that's how the whole chronicles of crime is played i don't want to spoil you anything that's when I'm, I'm not gonna go further but let's go to my final thoughts. So as always, first components and artwork. And I, I do like the artwork. The artwork is great. Um, you have those different personalities. Although, I mean, it depends on the scenario, what is what in each scenario, who is who in each scenario. But still, it gives you a lot of theme and feel and so on. And there is the VR. Um, there's that 3D environment which you look at with the VR glasses, it's even cooler. So the components are great, the insert is great, everything is very clear. You don't have to learn the rules in advance, you just start the tutorial and it will teach you the game. It's amazing, I mean it's app driven totally and so on, so I'm totally fine with the apps in board games if they help. Uh, here it's, it's, it, it's used a lot. But yeah, overall, everything is great. Now, one thing, and I will deduct one point for that. I feel the cards are totally fine, but I feel that the places, the locations, the um, the stock of the locations is 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 not as good. It's it's very thin, and I feel like they will wear off eventually if you grab them all the time. And yeah, I of course everything is on the table. But I still feel like they it, maybe it would be better to have kind of a thicker cardstock or something like that on them. But yeah, that's that's minor thing, but still I'm concerned about that. Everything else is great. Uh, so I give 4 out of 5 for components and artwork. If we go into the theme, once you are in the game, and yes you're using the app and you're scanning, but once you are in the game and, and you are in that VR scene as well, 3D scene, you think only about this investigation, about this crime, you are all in. And that's a great feel. That means that the theme comes through very well. Because you have a scene, you have those different clues, you're looking for them. And then you're calling the criminologist or you want to do a, an autopsy, you're calling the doctor and so on. You, you are looking for some footprints and, uh, sorry, the fingerprints and so on. So and you are asking that person about the other person because you heard from the third person that they have a relation between them and there's something comes up and then eventually you find an evidence, you go back to the same person you talked to before and then you talk to him again and now it's they tell you a different story. I mean, now they give some extra hints and so on. So there's a lot of story uh, elements in this game and I feel like it, it really comes through. So the theme is great. The theme works perfectly. That's five out of five for the theme. We, we go to the mechanics now. Uh, so uh, mechanics are great. I mean, you're using the app and uh, you are basically using QR codes. And as I told you already, you scan that person, then you talk to, he, to him or her and just uh, scan another person to talk about that person uh, and then you're trying to find those small um, intricacies, you're trying to find the connections between different people out there, between different locations and the clues that you have found and it uses the VR and everything. Uh, so it, it, it works totally fine, the mechanics themselves, the app works. Now, also the minor thing about this one is that when you are using the the phone, the app, 
Um, and you are basically, you can play with any number of players. I'm going to talk about the scale a little bit later. But when you're using that, it feels a little bit like multiplayer solitaire game. So you are, I really like to combine powers, to combine mind powers, you know, and figure the thing out. Because alone I might be stuck with my own uh, thoughts and yeah, I will probably not solve the crime in, in a good amount of time. But still, you, there's only one phone, you're scanning, you're doing all the stuff. And sometimes it feels multiplayer solitaire, so you could do that alone. And sometimes it feels like you're a little bit stuck. And um, and eventually, I I got a little bit uh, throughout the different sessions. I got a little bit tired of scanning all the things all the time. So it's cool. I mean, it's it's really cool. Uh, the great part about that is that they can fix the game and so on. But mechanically. Um, Maybe, I don't know, it's, I, I, I love the game, but I would still have liked to have more, little bit more board game experience, like, in it, um, except just scanning QR codes all the time, and it becomes a nuisance at some point. That's only me, I don't know why, but it just, eventually, you're trying to figure this thing out, and you're like, oh, I need to scan this now, to go do that, and that, and that, and that, and that. It's like with time stories, where... All right, I need to do that run again. I already did all of that. I need to do that all again. It doesn't bother me in time stories uh, as much. Uh, depends on scenario as well. Here it doesn't bother me as much as well, but it's a minor issue, minor thing. So I give mechanics four out of five. Now we go to replayability. Uh, I mean, this is scenario-driven game. So once you're done with the scenario, you know the outcome, so you cannot play it again uh, because, yeah, you already know who did the, who did the thing. But the cool part is that they have the components uh, for future scenarios as well. So you can use the same deck of people for very many different scenarios. So basically, they have all the components in the box, and all they need now is just add the scenarios into the app which is less costly. Um, as I heard, it will be like two or three dollars per a new scenario. So you can buy a new scenario, play the, play the new scenario for two or three dollars. It's, it's great. I mean, it's, I think it's worth it if you like the game a lot. Uh, I got some extra expansions um, and I got uh, some Kickstarter scenarios as well from the Kickstarter. And the base has quite a few scenarios as well. So I feel like... Uh, being a one-time use scenario driven game it still has a really cool replayability because you can insert new scenarios easily and cheaply so I give replayability 5 out of 5 now we go to the scale um, so you can play it with any number of players I told you it's a solitaire multiplayer game where basically all you need is an app and one game you can do it alone uh, you can do it with other uh, players as well. Um, doesn't really matter how many of them there are, really. I don't know, like, not too many, because otherwise it would be too many people. But uh, but eventually, yeah, I, I can play with two, I can play with three, I can play with four. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I like probably more people just because um, we have different... Um, Mindset, mindsets and so maybe something that I will not figure out somebody else will figure out so that's cool but I played with two as well it was great with two as well because yeah I like cooperation in games and yeah I don't want to play it alone because if I'm stuck I'm stuck I get frustrated if there's if there's somebody else then maybe we can discuss maybe figure something out and there's that cooperation element so it scales really well as well so it's um yeah, being a solitaire multiplayer game, though, uh, it's 5 out of 5. And so, final scoring is 23 out of 25, which means it receives a golden virtual medal. Congratulations. It's a rare case here. But what this game does is something very unique, at least for me. I haven't played that many games. I played around 600 different games throughout my uh, entire board gaming life. So I feel like this game delivers what it tries to do. It tries to implement the app and cool deduction. 
and have this kind of a picturesque thing with the VR as well. And it does it brilliantly. Everything is clear. You don't have to read the rules. You go through the tutorial. It's basic. It's family friendly. It's language. I mean, it's um, it's not language independent, but uh, you can translate the app and the scenarios in many different languages, and there already are quite a few languages, so it, it's not that hard to translate everything in the app. You don't have to print it all out, so it's kind of language independent. I mean, not completely, but yeah, I I feel like this game delivers what it needs to deliver. Uh, the price tag is around $40, um, as I remember, if you want to get extra stuff, yes, you need to pay extra. You will, if you need to get extra scenarios, they will cost you money, but not that much, and eventually in the base box you get enough. You don't have to pay, like with the time stories, you pay $40 to $50 for the base game, and you pay around $25 for each scenario as well. And it's a great game, it's an amazing game, I mean, you, I cannot really compare them because they're very different. But still, uh, this game does kind of the same thing, a unique kind of a approach to story-driven deduction. And does it brilliantly, so I like it very much. Minor things with the component and the nuisance of using the QR codes all the time. But eventually, as I told you, once you are in this game, once you are investigating, you're thinking only about this game. I'm like, I'm totally in into this game all the time. And I'm using my own phone to play, which means I'm not gonna sit in my phone during, during the game because it's, it's been used. So that's cool part. And it's family friendly, uh, totally. So yeah, I totally appreciate uh, the design over here. So it's Chronicles of Crime. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you another time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, visit Facebook page, uh, Twitter, Instagram. All the links, all the accounts are in the description below. And we see you another time in another review or any other video. Thank you. Bye bye. This channel is sponsored by Osprey Games. Check them out at ospreypublishing.com.